Hey Pretty Girl Club, so I want to address skin bleaching hypocrisy. Have you ever noticed that when it comes to people accusing celebrities of skin bleaching, they're always accusing a person who was naturally not dark skinned? I, I don't think I've ever seen people going out of their way to gather a whole bunch of darker skinned unambiguous people and say, oh hey, she went from Lapita Nyong'o's color to a medium cocoa brown. I don't see them doing that. But let a lighter skinned person get just a half a shade lighter and suddenly you'll see their face all over the blogs, you'll see their face all over Instagram, you'll see them all over Lipstick Alley and people will begin obsessing over them getting a couple of shades lighter. And I've noticed that this happens to lighter skinned people in real life as well. So let's say it's the summertime and you become kind of like this brownish, light brown skin tone, golden bronze, whatever you want to call it. And then it gets to winter time and you go back to high yellow. I've noticed that a lot of people will, they'll start calling you out and be like, oh my God, you look pale or oh my God, you got darker. But imagine if I were to call out a dark skinned black woman for her tone. Imagine if it were the middle of the summer and then I called out a girl who's Lapita skin tone and I said, oh my God, you got so dark. Wouldn't that be considered colorist or rude? I've noticed also that some people will defend bleachers and they'll be like, we live in a racist world. That person is just doing what they think will get them ahead in life. They've already experienced enough traumas due to their complexion. And okay, honestly, I don't even care what people do with their bodies, but it's funny how I don't care what people do with their bodies, but people care what I do with mine. Have you ever noticed that if you're a light skinned person and let's say you wanna stay out of the sun or let's say you are using vitamin C or you enjoy your golden light skin tone, suddenly you're a colorist and you only like your skin tone because it's light. But if you address skin bleachers who are trying to become lighter, you're being insensitive and kicking people while, while they're down and you're having no empathy. So you want me to have empathy for people with dark skin tones who feel pressure to lighten their skin, but then if you were born light skinned and you like to maintain your natural shade, which is light skinned, you're a colorist. And I was thinking about this because the other day I went into a lounge with my friends who all happen to be unambiguous and there was one seat that was like in the middle of the sun and I noticed that they, they made me sit in the sun. They were like, oh, you know, you can handle some extra sun. Like for me, I don't need to get any darker. And notice how it's okay for a darker skinned person to make comments like that. Oh, I don't need to get any darker. But then let's say a light skinned person says, oh, I don't need to get any darker. I like staying light skinned. Then you're a colorist. So if you're light skinned, you need to go in the sun. But if you're dark skinned, you can stay out of the sun and even bleach yourself and it's okay. Oh my God, slay sis, you look good. Oh, pinky doll, use that filter, catfish those colorists. Do you see the hypocrisy? And I'm not even policing what people do with their bodies. I know that people do all kinds of things to their bodies. They, they bleach, they do plastic surgery, they do different hair textures, eye colors, whatever. But it's like, why do people think it's okay to police a light-skinned woman's body, but then you can't police a dark-skinned woman's body? It's funny because a lot of people, they used to say to light-skinned Keisha, well, you're not even light-skinned. She's not that light-skinned. And then a couple of months later, she started appearing lighter and lighter. So I'm not sure if she like naturally brightened her skin or if she did some bleaching or something. But I've noticed that the lighter she got, then it went from you're not even light-skinned to suddenly, well, you're only light-skinned because you bleached yourself. So it's like, which one is it? Have you ever noticed that? As a light-skinned person, it's like, if you get any lighter, you bleached yourself and you're going to be shamed for it, or you're a colorist and you're going to be shamed for it, or you want to be white and you're going to be shamed for it. But if you are dark skin, let's say you're Lapita Nyong'o's color, and then you turn to Charlemagne's color, nobody cares. Not a big deal. Oh, he just, he was just removing his scars. Oh, he was just smoothing out his skin. Oh, he just did some chemical peels. It's not a big deal. So a lot of people, they kind of sweep it under the, the rug. They brush it off. But if you are light skin Keisha's color, or you are Beyonce's color, or Rihanna's color, or Megan Good's color, or you're somewhere in that range, if you get a half a shade lighter, if you get if you do bleach yourself or whatever, or you change your skin tone, then everybody makes it a big deal. Why? Because, like I said before, people only obsess over how you look when they pedestalize your beauty. People only obsess over your skin tone when they pedestalize that skin tone. So yeah, they're tracking your skin tone. Has anyone ever noticed how like a lot of people, they will have a whole entire skin tone tracker 
when it comes to your shade. It's so funny because I saw on Lipstick Alley, people were dissecting the skin tones of Chloe and Hallie, the two sisters, and I never really paid attention to their skin tones. I never saw a difference between the two of them and their skin tones. And I saw people on Lipstick Alley kind of saying like, oh, well, no, this sister is slightly lighter than the other sister. And no, this sister, like in the winter time, she gets a little bit paler. And then the other sister, she can tan a little bit darker. And I'm like, oh my God, like people are having a whole entire dissertation about light skin women's skin tones and our skin tone differences. But when it comes to darker skin black women, nobody cares. Why? That is proof right there that you pedestalize light skin tones. And it's like, it's okay to police a light skin woman's body. It's okay to police a light skin woman's skin tone, but then I can't police a dark skin woman's body. Why can't we keep that same energy? Like, they're tracking your skin tones at all times. Like in the winter, they'll be like, ew, you look pale. I remember one time when I was in college, so I went to an HBCU, and one of my friends, she was like, ew, I can see your veins through your arm. And it's like, yeah, you can always see my veins through my arm. I thought that was normal. But apparently, if you can see a person's veins, that's because they're quote unquote light skinned. And I've noticed in the summertime, if you're light skinned and you get just a little bit darker, people are like, oh my God, you got darker. See, I told you, you weren't that light skinned. Oh, look at you, you're brown now. It's projection. So you want me to sit in the sun to get darker while you secretly bleach so you can become my complexion. You're trying to level the playing field. And by the way, I think that any skin tone can be beautiful, but I think that the people who make these types of comments, they don't believe that. Deep down inside, they do believe that a lighter skin person or whatever, or somebody with that golden skin tone, maybe not even a white skin tone, but just a golden skin tone, they believe that that is the ideal standard of beauty. And I know that those Michael Jackson level bleaching products are illegal in the US, but still, I've been to the beauty supply store and I've seen all those aisles that they have with all of those products that are supposed to kind of lighten your skin tone. And it's your body, you can do whatever you want, except if you're light skinned though, and you stay out of the sun, then you're a colorist. Or if you're a light skinned person and you use things like vitamin C or alpha hydroxy acid, then you're a colorist. And you know, you're, you pedestalize your skin tone and you're just trying to stay as light as possible so that you can be pedestalized over dark skinned black women. That's why you're using vitamin C. It's like, what the heck? They're coming up with all of these different reasons. And in my opinion, it's just projection. Also, out of curiosity, I was like, you know what? Maybe these are only people from other countries who are trying to look as bright as possible. So out of curiosity, I did a Google search on skin bleaching and I was flooded with all kinds of YouTube channels about how women in America have become lighter. Uh, so these are women who live here. They are African-American, or maybe they have ancestry from other countries, but they're here in America. They are bleaching or whatever. And these, these are monoracial women, monoracial dark-skinned black women. And I even saw people on Lipstick Alley talking about this, like how to lighten their skin, you know, how to get to Beyonce's skin tone, starting off from Lapita Nyong'o's skin tone. So for me, I was never very familiar with the whole bleaching thing until I went to an HBCU. I remember my friend had a roommate and we were helping her move, so we were getting the stuff from under her bed, and there was this big jar and it said skin bleaching cream on it. So at this point, I am convinced that a lot of unambiguous mono women are actually bleaching themselves. Just because someone is not light skinned doesn't mean that they're not still bleaching. And you know what? It's not even my business. Like I actually don't care about what you do. But what I do care about is how people who are light skinned naturally get shade thrown at us if we enjoy staying out of the sun or maintaining our skin tone. Meanwhile, the main people who are policing you are the ones with bleaching products under their beds. So at this point, I am absolutely convinced that a lot of women want to have a mixed race phenotype, whether it is via their hair textures or via getting that ambiguous lighter brown skin tone. I've actually seen a lot of viral YouTube videos of darker skin mono women using chemical peels to heal and brighten their skin. I'm personally too scared to use anything like that. Uh, anything that'll peel my skin off, it just doesn't sound fun to me, but women are literally peeling their skin off like a snake just to get a half a shade lighter. Meanwhile, if you were born light-skinned and you use an umbrella to block the sun, you're a colorist. Do you see the hypocrisy? So dark-skinned people can get as light as they want, and that's their right because it's their body, but light-skinned people, you are not allowed to do the same thing. You're not allowed to even maintain your skin tone. In fact, if you're a light-skinned person and you don't want to get darker, you're colorist. And have you ever noticed how 
a lot of people, they actually get jealous over how pale a mixed woman can get if she stays out of the sun. For example, let's say you're already lighter skin. Let's say you're like Rihanna's color, Beyonce's color, Aaliyah's color, somewhere in that range. You already know that if you stay out of the sun for a few months, you're gonna become super pale. Then I've seen some people accuse lighter skin women of bleaching or they'll be like, you need some sun. So I almost feel like there's this jealousy over simply having the ability to get as light as you are able to when you're a mixed race person. Um, but it's like, she's part white. White people are naturally pale. So yes, not only is Rihanna light skinned, but if she also has freaking Irish in her DNA, yes, she has the ability to get very pale versus an unambiguous woman who is Lupita Nyong'o's color and has Lupita Nyong'o's DNA. A lot of darker skinned mono people don't understand light skin tones because they're not light skinned. They're dark skin, whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, you're always unambiguous. Your skin tone is always dark no matter what. But for mixed race, lighter skin people, we can become more golden, we can become more caramel, we can become more light brown, or we can go all the way back to beige or high yellow or peanut butter or whatever, because that's how your skin works if you are in the golden skin tone range. And I feel like a lot of people are genuinely jealous of the skin tone ranges that a naturally lighter skin person is able to achieve because it's almost as if you as a lighter skin person have the choice of, okay, do I want to be as high yellow as possible? Do I want to be as beige as possible? Or do I want to be as tan as possible and as caramel as possible? As a lighter skin person, you kind of have that choice. And so you have kind of a, a larger phenotype range versus somebody who was naturally born like Lupita. And it's like, no, you're gonna be dark skin year round. Like you may go from dark chocolate to medium chocolate, but it's like, you're still chocolate year round. Um, and I've noticed that some people, they almost seem to be jealous of the versatility that we have in our skin tones or in our phenotypes. And people will make fun of you all while simultaneously and secretly trying to get to your skin tone. Have you ever had this happen to you? Have you ever had anyone police how light or how dark you're getting or how pale you look or, you know, depending on what makeup shades you can wear and, oh, your makeup shade changed and, oh, that lipstick is too dark for you. Oh, that hair color is too dark. You can't wear that color. It doesn't go with your skin tone. Have you ever noticed how people will try to make little backhanded comments about your skin tone, but then you can't do the same thing to them? Let me know in the comments section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies.